What's up guys? Today I have a video on how to update your A7C, ZV-1, or any of those following Sony cameras with the old Sony menu system to the new version or new firmware updates. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Paul and I run a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it. I do that through gear reviews and tutorials and today we're going over how to update your A7C camera to the new firmware update. Sony just released a new update to the A7C and the ZV-E10 and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now this is the process is the same whether you're on a Mac or a PC, you just got to download the corresponding app. Wow, so after all that, come to find out, I was wanting to do it on the Mac because the Mac is a pretty large like user base for cameras and the creative community. Well, it turns out that there's issues with the updates, firmware updates running on the Mac. It keeps saying like, error please, like install the driver or something like that. And I'm like, I'm running the driver off it. So after doing some searching around, it looks like there's issues with installing it for Mac. So if you have a Mac computer only, try to find somebody with a Windows computer to do it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it on Windows here. It's really easy. I do it all the time. But uh, for Mac, you're just either gonna have to use parallels and have a Windows installed on your Mac just to run those things, or find somebody with a Windows machine, or you could try the link down in the, down in the description below. Is there's another YouTuber that did a walkthrough and like a and had how to like fix this issue with like a, a in driver pack, but it's a mess. It's hard to do. So if you can update your Sony cameras with Windows, do it because that's the easiest and quickest option. Unfortunately, it seems like Sony is not really good at making packages for Apple or Mac computers because yeah, it doesn't work very well or really at all for me. And I'm an IT guy, I couldn't I couldn't get it to work in. So we're gonna do on a Windows machine now. So right now, we're gonna go to the Sony website. I'll put a link down in the description below on where you can go to download the said firmware for your A7C or Sony camera. You would just select the model of your camera from this list. And you can see all the various cameras they have here. So we're gonna go to this A7C and we're just gonna click on it and it's gonna bring you to the newest version. You can see when the release date of that, that firmware was. So clearly I don't have this one, I got the other one. And then I'm gonna click the download button and yeah, yada, 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 yada. I'm going to agree and download this. So while, as that downloads, I'm gonna open up my A7C and turn it on. One of the things you need to do is make sure it's in mass storage mode. So what we're going to do is go in here to the menus and you go over to the suitcase. You're going to go to setup page number three and go down to USB connection and mine is set to auto but if you want to be just for, for sure just select mass storage and when you go back you should, be, you should be good. Now we're going to go to where we have our Windows update package on, and we're going to run this update here. So boom. And it's going to self-extract. It's going to open up. I do this on all my Sony cameras so far in Windows, and I've had no problems. I guess, you know, Sony, fix the Mac. Mac is a big user base, especially for creatives. What in the world? But as you can see here, it's saying to it tells you exactly what to do turn on the camera it was USB connection go to mass storage which we've already done and then connect to the camera to the computer via the USB C so that's what we're gonna do now now that we're ready to go and this is open up now we're gonna connect it and when it's connected and turned on you see mass storage on the camera and you're gonna click next now as we're verifying connect the connection and you just wait all right, it verifies the connection, then it goes to check the version, and once again, you hit next. And it's gonna be updating this now. It's just running, doing everything for you. This update should be pretty awesome because I autofocus for animals and people in video. So then it prompts you, it says it's updating, do not pull out the USB cable or turn off the camera. It is doing its thing. It says it's running the update. 
just let it run and be patient and it will finish and you'll be golden. Sweet, and now when all this is said and done, you're gonna get a prompt that says, the update process has been complete. You can just hit finish and boom, boom you're done. It switches, you can see on the screen it has, it's still in match storage mode, the, the screen turns back on on the, on the Sony camera and then you're good to go. You can unplug it, hit finish, you're done, you're up to date and you should be able to get eye autofocus for animals in video, which is pretty cool. Especially if you're going to like, you know, the zoo and stuff like that and you need to get like shots. Surprisingly, they added it to the ZV E10 and the A7C, but they haven't yet added it to the A7S3. So what I'm hoping for is that they're adding a lot of those other A7 IV features and the eye autofocus for animals into a bigger firmware update for the A7S3, and uh, that will be amazing. That's what I'm using right now to record, but uh, let's uh, let's quickly check this out and see if, I mean, I don't know how I can test this because there's no animals. I wonder if I can like put a picture of an animal on the screen and see if it'll like go, I don't know. But let's see what this thing does. So you can see on the screen, it's getting that, that, that eye, it's getting it, you know? It's, it's gonna really confuse it there, but boom, there's the box. I mean, it is golden. Oh, that is so good. So I'm super stoked that Sony added that feature. That is incredible. So check it out. Get Download the firmware update. That's a cool update. IAF for animals and video. It's just that easy. Guys, like all these tips and trips, subscribe for more videos. I do tons of stuff on Sony cameras, do all the fun YouTube-y things, and you guys know that I will see you in the future.